This is Hitler in his own private bunker about two weeks before the suicide, his suicide, planning on his new art exhibit in a place called Linz in Austria. Linz is a very small town, like Metter, Georgia. Anyone heard of Metter, Georgia? Good. <laughs> Anyone heard of Linz? One or two, three or four. But usually it's not on the tourist spot. Well, all of this artwork was to be kept, looted, and put in all of these places. What was not to be put in was this. Anyone know what that is? Torres, yes. This is uh, an American chaplain. He's a rabbi <coughs> called Pomerantz. Now what happens in my novel is what happened in real life. There was an infantry captain came up to George Stout and he says, hey, are you the guy who's saving the world? And Stout says, yeah, well, along with a few other million guys. He says, good, what's this? It's a rolling pin. I don't know what it is. So he gives this thing over to Stout. Stout opens up this burlap bag and there's a big rolling pin in there. Stout starts taking it apart. It's a 17th century Torah. Absolutely irreplaceable. And in Stout's memoirs, he says, this simple infantryman had no clue what the object was. But he knew that it was valuable more than money. And therefore, he gave it to me. And that is what a museum does, something which is more valuable than money. The values <coughs> of our civilization, not just the finances of it.